what I ate in Japan part 8. I got some social anxiety ramen at Ichiran where your food is served silently at a booth without needing to talk to anyone. This is the meat free option and it was nothing amazing but not bad either. The noodles were slurpable, the water was free, and you know it's 2022. We're out here trying to stay hydrated so I appreciated the support. Oddly gelatinous curry udon was the next meal of the day. I usually like my soups to be, you know, soupy, not jello-y. So this was odd but the noodles and tempura were texturally satisfying. I headed to Osaka Castle in order to fill my tourist behavior quota. Saw a few thousand people in Santa Costa costumes and stumbled into a ramen festival. My pea brain was overwhelmed by the options and the crowds, so I got into the shortest line after buying a ticket. I have no idea what kind of ramen this is still. It kind of smelled like feet, but unfortunately it only tasted like really good ramen.